Hi guys! The first step is to check that the needle is high enough from the green mat. Then we are going to mount the laser module. To protect the mat from the laser beam I use aluminium foil. I crumple it to create some space under the board in order to let the fumes to escape. I flatten the aluminium foil, I focus the laser and I proceeded to have the first test. The result was very good. Ok, how to use the laser? Let's check the procedures. You disconnect these two connectors from the Z-axis control board. You connect the long USB cable to the computer and then to the Arduino. Doing this, hold the wheels so the bracket will not move. To properly align the left and the right brackets running on the Y axis, take the X block and move it to the center of the X axis. Then move it forward and backward so the two brackets will be perfectly aligned. Connect the power supply to the flying plug coming out from the Arduino shield. It was not really necessary, but to be sure I attached some velcro to the plugs. In this way, the connection is safely firmed. It is the moment to launch laser GRBL and make the connection to the Arduino board. Choose your COM port and then click on the connection icon. Click on File, GRBL configuration. Now we go to check in the firmware that the laser mode is active and check that the parameter $32 is set to 1. Now we will plug the laser connector and you will immediately hear the loud fan cooling the laser head. There is an LED, it is green. Green means safe. To turn the laser on, you need to push the button and the LED will turn blue. Just to test that the laser responds to the command, I put the paper on top of the board and then I try to switch on the laser in focus mode. Yes, all ok. I previously aligned the board and the machine to the green mat. I want my origin to be in the left corner. 2 mm from the left side and 2 mm from the bottom side of the board. So, I use the jog control buttons in laser GRBL. To verify my position, sometimes I switch on the laser beam in focus mode. When I'm happy about the position, I set a zero, pressing on the set zero button. This is very important. Setting the zero defines the origin of the system. Now we can open our file. To check that the perimeter of my design fits inside the board, I press the frame button. If the perimeter test is OK, I can start to cut pushing the button play.
Also, if acrylic is a safe material to cut, it's not good to breathe its fumes. So I keep the window open and I use a fan to blow the fumes out. If you don't have a big fan, you can use a small one just to blow the fumes away from the laser lens. For this acrylic board, I decided to change the aluminum foil, but I didn't flatten it very well. I was lazy, and I didn't set the focus of the laser beam again. So this time, the board was 1.5 mm higher in relation to the green mat. This meant that I was a little bit out of focus. So this time, to the end, I needed to pop out the pieces by hands. Not a big problem. I'm satisfied about the results. Now we need to power off the laser and set the machine back to be used as pick and place machine. Disable the laser module by pressing the switch on it. The LED will turn green. Disconnect the power supply. Disconnect the USB cable. Unplug the laser connector. Plug back again the two connectors in the Z-axis control board and unmount the laser module. So if you have the right files, to use the laser module is very easy. Keep watching next videos.